I have an empties video today. My basket that I use for all my empty videos is actually quite full today. Um, lots of different products. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I saw it filling up and I was like, I need to film this um, so I can empty this out. So I'm just going to jump right in. The first product is from Ben de Terre. It's the Macadamia Oil Nourishing Conditioner. And I think I put this in one of my favorites. I wanted to try out the brand Ben de Terre because of a recommendation from Sam Sherman. She loves this brand of um, shampoo and conditioner. This sh or the conditioner, this one here, was quite nice. It wasn't revolutionary, but it was definitely hydrating and smelled really good. So I did like it. I haven't finished the shampoo yet. It's still in my shower. So a review to come on that. But that is that. The next two things are little samples. Oh, I actually have three of them. Two of them, whoa, we're already losing stuff. Two of them are foundation samples from Sephora, and I do have reviews on both of these. The first one is the Hello Flawless uh, Oxygen Wow Foundation from Benefit, and then this one's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I tried out both. I did reviews on both. I'll link them down below if you want to see what I thought of those. And then they also gave me just a free sample when I checked out. It's the Cake Nourishing Body Butter which sounds really promising. I tried it out right when I got home. It wasn't anything fabulous. It wasn't super hydrating. It was like a regular lotion. I mean, it smelled a little bit sweet, but not like super overwhelming cake scent. I don't know. I was just expecting more. I don't know what I was expecting, but just not that. It was just like regular body lotion. So in my opinion, I wouldn't spend the money on that one. The one that just half fell on the floor is from Milani. It's the Easy Brow. I've gone through this several times. It's a little bit dark for me. The lightest shade they have, I think it's called Taupe. Natural Taupe's lightest shade they have. It's a little bit dark for me, but um, it's drugstore and it's one of those roll-up eyebrow pencils and it comes with the spoolie brush on this side. So it's just easy. It's fast and easy and I keep repurchasing it because it's drugstore. My favorite one is the Sephora one, but I'm not always at Sephora, so I use that one in the meantime. Um, I see a couple of mascaras. Let's grab the ones that I see. Oh, a whole bunch of them, my goodness. Okay, well this one I mentioned in my five before fall tag. There was five products I wanted to use up before October 1st. This is the Mary Kay one. It's already in here. It's the Lash Love Mascara. I thought I could get away with using it on my, at least my lower lash line. Um, it's so terrible. It's like too watery for the lower lash line does nothing for the upper lash line. It's just terrible. I'd rather not use it at all than try and mess with it or pair it with other mascara. So I'm getting rid of that. I do not recommend. This one is Be A Bombshell. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. I need to open it to remember what it looks like. I think it was very similar to the Mary Kay one. I didn't fully use it up. I didn't like it. It didn't do anything for my hair lashes. It made them worse. So I'm getting rid of it. This one is Essence I Love I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I need to open them so I remember. It's been a while. Oh, this one's weird. Look at that brush. It's like little tiny studs on it, basically. Not even bristles at all. Uh, I think I've had this for a long time. And I think, you know what? It wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing, but I remember using this quite a bit. So even for the weird brush, I think it gave a lot of volume, but not length, if I remember correctly. What's the problem with waiting too long to do an empties? This one's the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes um, Sample Mascara. That's what it looks like. This one's totally dried out. I liked it, but it's a rubble, rubber bristle brush, um, and they are not my favorite, but out of the rubber ones, this is definitely up there. It does do a lot for separating and volume, not a whole lot for length, and it just wasn't my favorite brush end, so I, I wouldn't purchase the full size personally. Okay, this is the Marrakesh Ends Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy Split End Mender. Got this in an Ipsy bag, sample size. Love this, it's like a creamy lotion for your hair, like a hair oil, but in a lotion form, but was very lightweight. I would, if I saw it in a store, I would purchase it myself. Um, okay, these guys. These are my loves. This is uh, the Peerless brand. I have the SPF 30 one and then the regular one. Both came in separate Ipsy bags. They're face moisturizers. And this is actually the first time I fell in love with a product from Ipsy directly that I had to go and purchase myself because I loved it that much. I took these traveling with me. I kind of rationed them because the, the moisturizer is that 
nice it is so smooth it is so just high quality ingredients you can just tell it's hydrating it glides on easily makeup goes on it beautifully um yeah so i went out and purchased the full size of the regular one which is the first time i've ever done that with ipsy so way to go ipsy i love that brand i threw in a makeup wipe these are the kirkland makeup wipes just to remind you guys i'm still using these every single day they're so cheap you get 150 of them for ten dollars so what's that like 15 cents for one and you don't have to keep going back to the store every 30 days so love them they're big they're wet they're they work well they're great this is the calgon taking away hawaiian ginger ultra moisturizing body wash so it looks like there um i love the bottle first of all and i love the scent but i don't i didn't find that that moisturizing it didn't break me out or anything it just wasn't that moisturizing so i don't think i would repurchase that one this one's the St. Ives Blemish Control Green Tea Scrub. I thought it would be similar to the Apricot Scrub, which I really love. This is actually a lot more fine in texture. It was still really nice though. Um, I still have a little bit left in it, but it's got salicylic acid acne medication in it, which is really good. My skin really loves it, but it's not the greatest when you're pregnant. So I only had a little bit left, and once I found out that I was pregnant, I just decided to get rid of it. I have other scrubs that don't have that in it. Oh my goodness, another mascara. This I've had for far too long. This is the Monster Lash Mascara Primer. I think I got this at Sally's. I really like the idea of mascara primers, but I haven't found one that works that well. It's just a white primer. It just coated my lashes in white, but I, I don't know. For the amount of time it takes to put on a primer and then in a mascara afterwards, it wasn't worth it, in my opinion. So I'm getting rid of that. This is a little sample. Well... I guess travel size from the body shop. It's the Rainforest Radiance Conditioner for colored hair. Um, no silicones, blah, 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 no parabens. So it looks like there. I'd never tried this from the body shop. Where are we going? There we go. I'd never tried this before, so I thought I'd get a little travel size and try it out. I didn't really like it. I don't know why. It just was plain. Plain conditioner. Not, not worth it. Glad I didn't buy the full size. This! I finished this a while ago, my goodness. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Spray-In Treatment for Your Hair. Love this. Makes your hair easy to brush out, detangles it, and then it leaves like an, kind of like what an oil would do for your hair. It leaves it soft and just silky looking, so I really love this. This is quite expensive, so I don't know that I would purchase it right away, but I did really like it. The little Batiste Dry Shampoo Travel Size that I used this summer. My favorite, I have the big size, I go through these all the time, so I love that. I'm running out of space to put stuff down. Woo! And we're losing stuff too. Okay, this is the Dr. Jart BB Cream. A little sample. I did a separate review on it. I'll also link that down below if you want to thought specifically what I thought of the Dr. Jart one. Oh, here's another one, the Too Faced. I think this one, yeah. This one I couldn't try out until the summer because the color was cream glow and it was too dark for me during the winter. Um, I don't think I did a separate review on it, but it wasn't worth a separate review. It wasn't completely terrible, but it wasn't amazing. So I'm not gonna go repurchase it. I wouldn't recommend it, but it wasn't terrible either. It didn't have a lot of coverage and it got kind of shiny. So that's my little review on the Too Faced one. What's this one? Oh, this is the Body Shop Tea Tree BB Cream the sample they gave me and again I did a whole separate review on this one I'll link it down below if you want to see what I thought of the tea tree BB cream very unique very interesting and then I have two last products we're at the end yay what are we at oh my goodness almost 10 minutes okay this is a body cream that I got again from Ipsy it's the volcanic minerals and Sicilian lemons it was quite lightweight very kind of almost runny in texture um, it wasn't super hydrating, but the scent was kind of pleasant. That's my review. I wouldn't buy it personally. And then this one is the L'Oreal Re Revitalif Night Cream. Um, very thick, very hydrating. Um, does stuff anti-aging wise, which I liked. A little bit left in there, but again, I think it had some ingredients that weren't so great with pregnancy, so I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, it's kind of got that chemically sent to it. Um, I would probably repurchase it down the road when I'm not pregnant and I'm getting older, things like that. I liked it for that, but there's lots of night creams that I'm loving right now, so 
it wouldn't be my first choice. So yeah, that is it for my empties. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye!